What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Grok update. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. It is 9 p.m. on the West Coast. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do not make investments based on what I say in these videos. For real, I am just an idiot doing my best and I want to document this journey because I saw very early that this thing is going to have longevity. All right, so check this out. Grok is trading at 0 0.005, triple nine. Market cap is $37.9 million. Holder count is 16,660. And yes, you are currently watching a breakout. And it's not only a breakout, it's a breakout on volume. So if you look at this four hour candle, this is the four hour chart. So each candle represents four hours of price action. If you look at this candle right here, this happens the same time you have the breakout from this zone. So it was in this zone for uh, since the start of the year, actually. So like over two weeks, it was just ping ponging around. Right now, you're seeing the breakout. Now, why were why was this not the breakout? Because there wasn't coinciding volume. Why was this not the breakout? Well, that was a mev bot. That doesn't count. <laughs> why was this? I think this was another mev bot. But the reason why this is a breakout is because you have that big volume. This is the biggest uh, four hour candle in terms of volume. It is a big four hour candle in terms of price action, but in terms of volume since December 22nd, right here. So most volume on a four hour candle in the past 25 days, all right? Volume precedes price. You're witnessing that in real time. Look, it's up even more. Now we're into 0 0.006, all right? So resistance levels are 0 0.006, then 0 0.009, and then 0 0.014. And then in all honesty, there's not much between that and the all-time highs. And I've been saying that for weeks, but that's just because that's what the chart is saying, all right? So that's where the most volume has been accumulating at those levels that I just stated. So looking pretty good right now. This is the four hour. Uh, let's see what it looks like on the daily. Yeah, that's a big candle. Nice bullish engulfing. And it's funny because if you zoom out to the daily, this is why it's important to look at multiple time frames. If you look at it in the daily, it's just a double bottom, dude. Look at <laughs> You got the neckline at 0 0.006 where it's at right now. That's crazy. But if you break it down to the one hour, it's the micro Wyckoff accumulation within the greater macro Wyckoff accumulation. So um, good breakout. Oh, in terms of why is this happening? What's the catalyst for this price action? Um, oh, yeah. Also on the 15 minute or the five minute, it's playing out a bull flag. And it's uh, looking like it's going to break out. This could become a, a double top. But I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's going to do that. All right. So it could do that. Come back down to the neckline and um, which should be right here and then go back down to like 0.005. I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's going to be a double top. And I think it continues going up. All right. So you had all that volume and I was watching it and it was big buys like $10,000, $20,000, five figure buys, you know, like pretty hefty buys. And you're still seeing them. And a lot of them were bought or smart contracts as shown by the yellow insignia on the right hand side. But that doesn't really matter because when people start waking up in different time zones like Asia, um, Africa, Australia, wherever they are around the world, Russia, um, the UK, when people see they wake up and they see a gigantic candle, what ensues? FOMO. People start buying. So it doesn't even matter if it's a bot or a smart contract. It's just human psychology. When you see something that looks good, that's when people start buying it. They don't buy it when it's at the nasty lows of 0 0.0047. So um, chart looks good right now. Uh, 0 0.006, 0 0.009, 0 0.014, 0 then all-time highs. Those are the next resistance levels. But I mean, it's at 0 0.006 right now. So this is the Twitter account, Grok Project, uh, that is community run, 9,036 followers. The only reason I bring this up, when I'm researching a cryptocurrency, I like to see sentiment online. I, I gauge what the sentiment is. If people are too excited about something, I'm probably going to skip out on it. But in terms of Grok, like people are really excited on it. But that's because they've built a foundation of a strong community and People's vision for Grok is a lot higher than, what is it, like 37, I don't even know, 39 million? 
I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's just shy of like, okay, 37.9 million. It doesn't matter. But a coin that has survived this long with a community that's strong, with a narrative that's nearly perfect, like I don't mind seeing excitement. But if it's a brand new coin and, you know, so I say all that to say that uh, a big portion of my um, my trading theses comes from looking at social sentiment online, all right? And the Grok Project X account has grown, I think it's like 200 followers in the past 24 hours. Socialblade.com will show you day by day how much it grows. And that's the most growth it's had in like two weeks. So good sign from there. Um, Grok looks good. I still think it's going to a billion dollars. Love you guys so much and I'll see you for the next update. Peace.